Yeah, hi. Today, uh, I'm going to give you a few tips about gardening. Uh, gardening, usually here is done in apartments, in small houses, in, in big tall buildings. We don't have your own backyard, we do not have a garden. That's our garden, I'm going to teach you some tips on that. So basically, we're going to start from the soil. Okay, that's the basic thing that we are talking about when we're gardening. So, as you can understand, in an apartment, it's really impossible to take soil from any garden or any place, you know. Normally, you, you dig it up somewhere or ask your personal gardener or maybe some gardener to bring it for you. It's a very dirty job. You personally wouldn't want to put your hands in it, you know. So, today I'm going give to you, give you some tips how to start with the soil, basically. See, uh, plants, they need a medium to anchor their roots. And what we have over here is coco peat. And this is an excellent medium for the plants to root, anchor their roots. So, usually, comes in handy, it's easy to clean, uh, doesn't have any uh, insects or any pests or it's completely harmless and completely clean. Right. This will come into five kg packs like this, so maybe somewhere in your area you might be getting it powdered, but this one is like a five kg brick, I took out a component of it and I soaked it over here and it, take, it uh, expands up to five times in volume. Basically if you just throw in the whole coco peat block in a bucket or a drum or whatever you have, any container or a vessel, this will expand up to 25 kg. So basically 5 kilo coco peat, 20 liters of water makes up 25 kilos of soil medium for the plant. So this is what it comes out like. And this is the basic thing I'll show you. I soaked some water over here. You don't have to soak in so much water. I am just showing it for demonstration that the water I've soaked over here. And I'll definitely be showing that with the rest of the coco peat over here. And this is how it actually comes out to be, okay? Um, it's absolutely clean, see, doesn't stick to your hands and doesn't have any side effects, any insects or any ringworms or anything you have to be scared of. You can do it with the gloves or without the gloves. This is absolute fun. So this is what we have over here. This is a complete medium for the uh, plants to anchor, any plant. Basically, if you have roses or any plants which need complete drainage of water, doesn't want, wa want water to be clogged in, you clay that you can't have loam or good fertile soil everywhere. So this is the best medium. So basically we have an anchoring medium over here, coco peat. And what we have, this is just a plain soil. It doesn't provide any food to the plant. What we're going to do, we're going to add some manure or fertilizer or compost, whatever you call to it. So I'm basically using a local one. I don't have a brand over here. And um, just throw it in. it out with your hand, chalk and machine, just like you work on a kitchen dough. Okay. You don't have to go in deep, just get it where it will mix, just throw it down, that's it. See how easy it is? It's not that dirty, it's not that mushy, but you have to just wash your hands after it. Now I'm doing it with the plain hands because I really don't want to put on gloves, it makes me feel uncomfortable. I just want to feel the nature in my own hands. There it goes. That can be scrubbed out. If you have something beautiful, you really have to get a bit dirty in the beginning. But after that, you're gonna have a beautiful garden. So what we have over here is coco peat done with a fertilizer. All you have to do is plant this. Plant your desirable plant, whatever plant you want to put your roses or herbs or whatever flower plants or seasonal perennial plants, whatever you have, you just plant it in. That's it. Over here. Nice mix of coco peat with the fertilizer over here. Alright, that's it. I'm gonna add a few little more for it.
is fun. You can ask your kids to get dirty your hands in it. You can play safely in it. There's no anything harmful over here. Completely safe. Environment friendly, plant friendly, and kid friendly. Okay. That's it. So we're done here. That's our cocoa piece. It's ready for the plants to grow in. All you have to do is bring the desired plants in whatever shape you can in some nice way. Just plant them in and you get some good plants and make your food by spring the leaves and just put it in. That's it. So this is basically a good medium and a medium just you use a compost or fertilizer or a manure, whatever you say. Usually I make my own compost over here, but for the, in my special case, I just showed you this one. This is my compost. We're going to get ready in next 10 days, maybe. I'll show you how to make your own compost. You know that? It's very environmentally. You end up recycling a lot of home-based material, which you normally throw away. And trust me, you can never get the better compost than you make in your own. So basically, we are done over here. That's our cocoa piece for the plants to grow in. This is the dust or cocoa piece. I'm going to probably mix in some fertilizer with this one as well. And you can put it as a light plant. And I will show you in the next video how to go with our next compost making and a lot of planting and gardening tips for the apartments, small apartments. Basically when this is done, it's going to be really clean and you're going to be very happy. Trust me, go for it and you'll catch up a hobby if you don't have any. Cheers.